So there are now 106 Texas counties subject to a gubernatorial disaster declaration. That's more than a third of all Texas counties that are now subject to a disaster declaration. Sure, unfortunately there are seven people who lost their lives. What are the ages of those? We estimate there being close to 100 people who were injured. More than 200 homes and structures were listed as destroyed. I'll be shocked if those numbers are not increased uh, as further assessments are made. We are going through the heart-wrenching loss of life, including the heartbreak of a family losing a two-year-old and a five-year-old child. When they woke up yesterday, they had no way of knowing how the family would be literally crushed by this horrific storm. So uh, as of right now, I am told there's no one reported missing. That said, we are making one last round uh, of searches to, to make sure there is no one missing. We get here today, there's about 38,000 people uh, still without power right now. Uh, Encore is the major power provider to most of those folks, and they're working around the clock as we speak right now to try to get them back online. Uh, there's one uh, local power company, Pentex, in Pentex. Pentex uh, where uh, you said it may be a couple of days or something like that. Uh, they're hoping to have the last of it done tomorrow evening. I'm sorry, last of it will be done tomorrow evening uh, for Pentex. I think there's some, some wire lines that need to be put up. Governor has the
Thank you.